Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. The signs of the times. What do I mean, the signs of the times? Yes, I'm going into Bible prophecy today, once again, as these last few videos have been focused around God, Yahweh, Jesus, the Son of God. The signs of the times. How the Bible correlates and coincides with what's going on today. Are we in the tribulation? Are we moving into the tribulation? Are we moving into what they know or call as the end times? But before the real end, there's a period of seven years of the tribulation. The signs of the times. I'm gonna start though. The focus here is Jesus, the Son of God. I will be quoting verses from the Bible. Starting with 1 John chapter 4, verse 9. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's right. The Holy Bible, people. I might be currently in Sinai, Egypt. It's mostly Muslim. That's okay. I have to tell you, even the Muslims believe in God, talked about God. Well, their God is, their name is Allah. But they believed in Jesus as well. You see, Jesus came into this earth, the only one documented and truly came in through a miracle. How? The Virgin Mary. Not only documented in the Holy Bible, documented in the Torah, documented as well even in the Quran. That's right, he came in through the Virgin Mary as a miracle. The angel Gabriel came to Mary and she would be pregnant with a child, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's not the same sons and daughters like we bear with a husband and wife. This is a perfect being. He performed, Jesus performed 37 miracles documented in the Bible once again. That's right, turning water into wine, healing, leprosy, illness, sicknesses of all kinds, all documented in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Another miracle, he also resurrected. He rose after he was crucified on, not the cross, even though people call it the cross, but the stake, after he was crucified. The third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures and is seated at the right hand of the Father, the Father, Yahweh, Hebrew name, Jehovah, English name. He was sent for our sins and our salvation so that we may have eternal life. For God saw that the people of the earth were sinning. He would die just for you, just for me. He would die just for one person to save their soul. His blood was shed for us. But we have to believe in him so that we may have eternal life. But not only one piece of the ingredient. There's a lot of things in order to receive the kingdom of God. However, please know that you do not get into heaven by works or deeds, but by believing that Jesus Christ is the Son, is the Savior, the King of Kings, the light of the world, God, the Father. No, Jesus is not God. I do not believe or documented. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is Jesus and God, Yahweh, Jehovah, is God, superior being, the Father and the Son. So Jesus is the only person in the world who came in through a miracle, performed all these miracles, 37 miracles documented in the Bible, as well as ascended into heaven. On the third day, he rose again. Let's talk a little bit about the Bible. It was written over 1,500 years, that's right, starting with Moses, the first five books, 1,500 years. There are around 40 authors to the Bible. The Old Testament was written between 1,200 BC to around 165 BC, and the New Testament was written between around 40 to 50 AD to 100 AD. So. That's just a little facts and statistics on the Bible. Jesus performed miracles. Jesus is a miracle. Jesus is the Son of God. Believe it in Him and you will have eternal life. Follow the Ten Commandments. Repent for any sins. Forgive your neighbor. Forgive yourself. 
pray and have a personal relationship with God every day, every day. I've been preaching this and teaching this for many, many years. I've been walking the walk and talking the talk as I do. So moving forward, okay, we know, and I'd like to emphasize again, that it is very important to know God's name. Unfortunately, it was removed from the Bible many, many years ago. I'm not going to go into details about that because I don't know too much information on why or who removed it. Okay, but please, when you pray, use God's name. Okay, and I do believe that both the Christian, the Jewish, and even the Muslims, we all have the same God, even though we may call him different names. So, use his name. Use his name, Yahweh Hebrew, Jehovah God, and in Muslim, they call God Allah. But there are many other names. I am the I am, Prince of Peace, and many other names too. But my name is Sherry, your name is, okay, we all have our specific names. Then I also want to bring forth the information that there are about 26 verses in the Bible, in the New Testament once again, that claim that Jesus is the Son of God. 26 verses. It's not just one or two or three. Okay, here I go. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, they reiterate each one of them saying, I quote, in Luke 3.22, You are my beloved Son. In you, I am well pleased. Okay? Mark 9, chapter 9, verse 7. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Also in Peter, chapter 1, verse 17. The same. Matthew 17, 5. Okay, they all say Jesus is the Son of God. Believeth in him and you have eternal life. But follow the Ten Commandments. Have that personal relationship. Re read the Word of God. Written, not by God's hand, but yes, by God's hand. Through the prophets. 40 plus authors, that's right, 40 plus authors. Over a time for 1,500 years. The Quran written by one. Okay, very similar stories in the beginning but not throughout. I still 110% believe in the Holy Bible, in the Word of Yahweh, in Jesus Christ the Savior. This is my emphasis in this video, as well as I'm gonna be moving into the signs of the times. But what's more important is that you know and you come to Christ now. Why? Time is ticking, people. We're living in the times. Whether the rapture or people go missing or people go up or we're starting in the tribulation, it doesn't matter. Nobody knows the exact day, the exact hour, when that will happen. But we do know the seasons, and we do know the signs, for it is written in the Bible. I also did a little research on Christianity, Judaism, and Muslims. And what was the population between the three that make up the world? Around five billion people between the, those three religions in and of um, themselves. Christianity making up about 2.3 billion people. Muslims making up about 1.9 billion people in the world. And Judaism about 14 million people in the world, coming out to an estimate of 5 billion people. And as we know, currently, the population of the world is around 8 billion. So that's more than half of the people who believe in God, as documented from 2020 research and surveys. Estimates. Please know that Jesus is the only way to the, to the Father, is through the Son, believing that he died for our sins and our salvation. I reiterate this again. Get right with God. Get right with God now. He knows your hearts. Come to God, come to Jesus. Know he is the Savior, Jesus Christ. We are saved through faith in Jesus Christ. Search the, scripture. Search, search the scriptures, the gospels, the word. I encourage you to do so. I am just here to point you to God, point you to God, point you to Jesus, point you to the gospel, point you to the prophets. I am just a channel to relay this information. Now, moving into the signs of the times. Let's go there, okay? Starting with the mark of the beast, as I'm sure many of you have heard before. Mark of the beast, the chip in the hand, the chip in the hand, or the forehead, as written in Revelations 
chapter 13, verses 16 through 18 reads about a chip that will be implemented, a tattoo inside people's body, the hand or the forehead, all right? I don't have the exact scripture. I didn't write it down, quote unquote, all right? But <clears throat> you will not be able to buy or sell without this chip. Well, this chip is also a representation of the beast. Who is the beast? Well, let's say, as written, Satan, Lucifer, the fallen angel who wants to take over the world. One third of these fallen angels follow Lucifer in the darkness, trying to take over the people in the world. We are not bad at our core. We are all beautiful, light beings of God. The seed of God is in all of us. But we have to stay watering and nurturing that seed of God, of love, of compassion, of patience, of understanding, of forgiveness, of the truth, of the light, of the word. We have to keep watering that seed. Revelation, this talks about Satan, 666. That's right, 666. The mark of the beast, as written, Revelations 13, 16 through 18. And it's very interesting because the patent that was given to the vaccine for the coronavirus, the patent number is W02020060606. FYI, do the research yourself as well. I encourage you to do the research and to read the word. Also, the word corona, as I mentioned a year ago in my videos, the corona word means crown in Latin, in Spanish, and even in the English language, it means crown, wreath, crown, all right? That's one. Now, you break down the word corona. If you give each letter of the alphabet a number, A being one, Z being number 26, and you add them all up, C-O-R-O-N-A, we add each letter up by number, and it gives you the number what? 66. Again, we come back to the number 66, associated with who? Satan, Lucifer, the beast. Next, moving into the next sign. Okay, we have this interesting statue that has been created. It's called the giant statue. Research that. The giant statue. Okay? It stands about 10 stories high, which is about 100 feet high, right? And it's interesting because in the prophecy of Daniel, with King Nebuchadnezzar having these dreams, all right, they talked of a specific statue in this dream as well. And a lot of people think that it depicts the end times, each part of the statue having a different color, gold, silver, bronze, okay, and clay at the bottom. But this statue that has been created here in 2021 cost around between 17 million to around 20 million dollars to create. It moves, it talks, 10 stories high, written in the book of Daniel. Well, it also speaks of a statue, all right? And this statue has the same dimensions as the statue that's been created for 2021. Now, this statue is also supposed to move around to around 21 cities. Well, exactly, 21 cities in the world, okay? And in Daniel's prophecy, it talks about the dimensions, how high it is, by cubit bits, all right? So look at that, Daniel's prophecy. Um, unfortunately, I didn't put the exact, oh yeah, last verse in the Bible. And I also found it interesting that in Revelations, the last two verses in the Bible, in Revelations, is verse 20 and 21. We are in that time frame right now. So this giant statue that's been created, not only moving and talking, okay, every hour and the hour, it will change from a past person in history to a celebrity to a movie star or um, a singer. And then what comes in another year? Does it turn into the Antichrist? And people could even scan their bodies and they could become the selfie and be the giant statue. Are we worshiping ourselves? Or are we worshiping God here, people? Huh? Okay? People are get so self-consumed in themselves, taking pictures of themselves and posting them, seeking validation and approval. No. Just food for thought. This statue will be moving around the world to 21 cities. It is the same dimensions written in Daniel's prophecy. The height here, yeah, I do have it. The height is 60 cubits in the Bible. 60 cubits. 60 cubits is the same as 90, 
to 100 feet high, 60 cubits, all right? The statue stands the same height as written in Daniel's prophecy. And I also found it interesting that they started putting a chip in the credit card, a chip in the credit card, only to get our feet wet, to get our feet wet for the future of what's to come. Putting a chip in the person. I knew as soon as that came out of what this was just preparing us for. Oh, well, we got the chip in the card. Now we can put it in your hand or your forehead. So much easier. Now you don't need a credit card. Now you don't have to worry about getting stolen from. Yeah? Well, who's in control of that microchip that's inside of you? This microchip is the mark of the beast. I encourage you not to get it. However, if we move through the tribulation, maybe we die because we refuse the chip, as written in prophecy as well. Moving forward, the sun turns to darkness. The moon will have no light. Joel, chapter 2, verse 30. Revelations, chapter 6, verse 12. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 29 moon to blood. We had a blood moon. We had a lunar eclipse on May 26th. And then we had a solar eclipse. The sun darkens. The sun goes dark. Solar eclipse on June 10th. FYI. Yes, these have been happening since the beginning of time. The moon has eclipses and the sun has eclipses as well. But just take note of these. Why? Because it's all adding up. Number four, lightning comes out of the east. Lightning comes out of the east. Saudi Arabia had a massive lightning flood storm, rain, rainstorm, flood watches all over. Saudi Arabia on May 29th. And it was right where the prophet Muhammad is buried in Medina. Again, that happened on May 29th, 2021. God doesn't tell us the day or the hour, for not even the angels know the day or the hour when Jesus comes again. No, but he does tell us all these signs, and he gives us seasons even pertaining to Matthew 24, verse 32 to 33. Right before summer, right before summer, at that transition in season, transition in season, yesterday was the first day of summer, June 21st. Twigs get tender and leaves come out. No, summer is near. See these signs. Know that it, he, they took out he, okay? He, meaning Jesus, is near and at the door. Okay? FYI. So you know that too. The season. Next, number six, Proverbs. Chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goeth before destruction. Pride goeth before destruction. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 13 reads, I will ascend into heaven in pride. Notes. Psalms chapter 59 verse 12. Notes. Taken in pride. Many people are talking about the rapture. The word rapture is not specifically in the book of the Bible, but taken up, going up. Herpazo in Greek means caught up in the sky. All right. Revelation chapter 4 verse 3 reads, rainbow round about the throne. Rainbow around about the throne. What am I pertaining to? What am I getting at here, Sherry? All right. Pride, rainbow. Okay. Well, it's interesting because on June 25th, this Friday coming up, we have the pride parade. Where? In Israel, in Jerusalem. That's right. Friday, June 25th. Just notes, notes to self. Is the pride parade in Jerusalem. False prophets, number seven, false prophets. That's right, false prophets of who? Of who? Jesus, that's right. People will be coming and saying they are Jesus. La'a, that means no in Arabic. But no, false prophets, you have to know the word. Again, you have to know the word. What does the Bible say? How is Jesus coming to this earth? Know that Jesus comes on the clouds when he does come. Coming on the clouds, angels, great sounds of trumpets, and gather, will gather the elect from the four winds, north, south, east, and west. They will be going up, okay? Whether it's the beginning of the tribulation, the seven years of hell on earth, whether it's the middle of the tribulation, okay? Whatever the case may be, people will go up. Jesus will come for them. He will come for, as it's quoted, the church. 
meaning the people who believe Jesus Christ is the Savior. That's all that means. Whose heart is right with God, who has a personal relationship, who reads the word, all these things. I am not God. God will choose his people who go up. All countries, all nations, all people, all cultures, all lang languages, God chooses who goes up, who is the elect. Matthew 24, verse 30, note this. When Jesus comes, he comes on the clouds. The trumpets will sound. If people go up, people go missing off the planet, it's not because of aliens, not because of the UFOs. No. False prophets. No. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. Don't be deceived, for many will come in my name. They will even perform miracles. They will deceive even the people who are, who are reading, but know specifically how Jesus comes, how he will present himself. False prophets will come. Number eight, nations rise against nations. There's been wars happening since the beginning of time, yes. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes, various places on earth. I'll go into that, for I did research there as well. Matthew 24, verse 7, okay? Next, lawlessness. Lawlessness. People, hearts will go cold here on earth. There will be so much fighting and war and deception and lies on top of lies coming through the media coming through the news, coming through the governments, coming through the presidents. As I talk of the Kabbalah and the Illuminati who are running this world, the people of the darkness, okay? Unfortunately, we are in a spiritual warfare. The light, dark, God, devil, good, evil. We all have good inside of us. We have to activate that. Activate that in all ways, shapes and forms. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 reads, Day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Okay? No one will know the day or the hour, as I mentioned, but he gives us the signs. He gives us the seasons. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12 reads, Lord, come, thief in the night, once again. Say peace and safety. They will say peace and safety. And then comes sudden destruction, comes upon them. So once they declare safe and peace, shortly after, destruction. Note, all the information, all the incidents that are going down in Israel right now, as we know in the past last month, we had Israel and Palestine at war once again. Yes, it's been going on since the beginning of time. But 1948 is the year that Israel became a nation. Many people think the tribulation is starting now here in 2021, 70 years out, over 70 years out from when Israel became a nation. What I believe and felt was the tribulation started in 2017 when there was a solar eclipse that went over the entire country of America, the beautiful. That's right. And I knew seven years out, because as it says, seven years out from that solar eclipse over America, there's gonna be another one that crosses over the opposite axis of America, seven years out from that. And I knew that the tribulation is how long? Seven years. I knew that what? America could be the main target, Israel, these nations, third, third world war around the corner as well so the tribulation started at that solar eclipse August of, of 2017 right now we would be three years and ten months right now three years and ten months into this tribulation but a lot of people think the tribulation is starting now here in 2021 and moving into 2028 we're all trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together nobody knows once once and for all but I'm giving you these signs, okay? So, be aware. All right, new prime minister in Israel happened in the beginning of June, note, okay? Moving forward, let's just see, I'm not missing anything here. I wanna make sure I get everything in. What's going on in the world today? Mass destruction, natural disasters have been happening, yes, since the beginning of time. These are happening one after another, very rapid. Let's see. Let's just take a look since um, June 13th through the 19th. You could do the research yourself. I encourage you to read the Bible, to look to the Word. Don't look to me. Look up. Look to God. Look to Jesus. Look to what was written in the book. Look to the statistics. Look to what's going on in the earth, in the world. Tornadoes. Just between one week, June 13th to the 19th, we have tornadoes, massive storms, massive storms, creating extreme floods like the Grand Rapids moving down your street, taking over the land, Holland, America, all over America as well. 
okay? We got um, Colorado, Birmingham, Alabama, um, Wyoming, Oklahoma City, Chicago, Woodridge, yesterday, the other day, okay? We have Bismarck, North Dakota. Then we have China, all right? We have China, Florida, Australia, Spain, Mexico, Russia. That's right. All of these massive, severe storms, rain, hailstorms, um, tornadoes, tornadoes. These are all falling under this category. Do the research. Look it up. Look it up on news reports. Look it up on Google. Look it up on YouTube. It's all there for you, okay? Um, Romania, Turkey, Ukraine, India, Portugal. Where else? Nepal, Laos, Canada. That's right. Tornadoes. We got tornadoes. We got storms. We got hail coming down, pouring down. Then we have earthquakes. And I'm just talking one week. This is just one week, people. One week. Rapid movement. We have bizarre clouds forming over several nation cities. Bizarre, wild clouds. Eerie. Check that out. Do the research. Earthquakes. California. Always been having, Cali always been having um, earthquakes. I was there when they had a 7.1. I went through it. I felt it. It's very scary. California. All over California right now. Again, that's not uncommon, okay? We have um, New Zealand, 6.5. We have China, 5.7 earthquake. Philippines, 5.8. We have Alaska, 4.5. We have Indonesia. I'm only giving you the earthquakes at five or above. That's not listing all of the ones in this week, okay? They were at four, three, two, and one, okay? Yes, they've been happening since the beginning of time, but note this as well. These are the signs of the times too, notes, okay? We have sinkholes appearing all over the world. Sinkholes, cars being parked, boom, going, inverted, going into the earth. That's right, sinkholes. Sinkholes, Jerusalem, Mexico, China, America. Yes, I'm outside. The dogs, cats run rampant around here in Sinai, Egypt. So these are the signs of the times. These are natural disasters. These are happening one after another, more and more, okay? They will say that this is climate change, global warming. Climate change, global warming. No, I believe this to be the wrath of God. The wrath of God. Not global warming, not climate change, no. Abomination of desolation. The rapture, possibly, people going up. Then the governments, the presidents, the news reports saying that, what, maybe aliens took us? Or people, whoever God chooses to go up? Hmm? Go to God. Go to God. I want to point you to the Bible. I want you to I want to point you to the gospel. I want to point you to Jesus. There's no time to waste. No time to waste. Put God first. Put God first. Put God first. I've been talking about this in many videos. In different ways, shapes, and forms. The report card of life. How much time are you putting in your spiritual work? I talked about this, I remember, a year ago when I was in California, two years ago when I was in California, too. Put God first every single day when you wake up. Talk to him. Pray with him. He wants to be your best friend. Know Jesus Christ came to save our souls so that we may have eternal life. Focus on Jesus. That's what I encourage you to do. Stay focused on prayer. Don't let world things distract you. Don't let worldly things distract you. Oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to go to a party, I have to go to this concert. Oh, I have to watch TV, I have to go to see a movie. Don't be distracted. No, we had over a year now with the corona to sit here. To sit here and do what? No school, no work, a lot of it. Could have been debilitating not only your physical body, but no, focusing on God. So, these are the signs of the times. I am bringing you Bible prophecy. I am bringing you what's happening now seeing how they coincide, see what's going on in the world. Come to God, come to Jesus. Pray, connect, forgive. Do not judge or you will be judged. This is about you and Source, you and God, you and Yahweh, you and Jehovah, you and Allah, whoever you may call him, but in the word, Christianity. Go to God, go to Jesus. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with ancient aliens around the world here in Sinai, Egypt, talking about the signs of the times. And go to God, go to the Bible, 
Go to the word, the truth. Come to Jesus. Peace.